I'm out today to do a quick review and a look at the DD Pyramid Mesh Tent. Let's check it out. This will be suitable. Uh, there's not that much flat ground around here, so I'm kind of struggling with places to to pitch up. But for demonstrational purposes today, I think this will be fine. I've got a couple of trees here that I'm going to run a ridge line across and try a few variations of this. I actually took it out last Saturday um, for a little wild camp with a couple of mates, and uh, I had a formation where the tarp basically just laid over the pyramids put it in the shot above and uh, you put two trekking poles one in the middle obviously keeps the pyramid up and then the other one just raises the front so you kind of got a little porch area I'll, um, I'll do that one first and uh, then show you a few other variations that I've had in mind So that, for a mesh tent, is basically it. Take seconds, I'll take you for it. So you lay out on the floor, you get provided with four DD Superlight tent pegs. So you just peg out all four corners. Those first two, those first two. Open the door and extend your hiking pole. And that is it, simple as that. I'm going to try, I'm going to try and put it up with a ridge line attaching this point here. You see, so you get a bit more space in the middle because the hiking pole, it doesn't really get in your way, but just you could probably fit three people in that if you got rid of the pole. But I'm going to put the tarp over it the way I had it camping the other day and then I'll uh, go through some variations. That's it, that's the first variation. It's the only one I've used, but so quick and simple. Just basically chuck the tarp over the top, make sure the reinforcement point is where the pole is, and then peg out your four corners. Just a little bit of adjusting here and there, and uh, yeah, very quick and easy. So here's a view of the back. You could always tighten it up if you wanted to. Just a little demonstration. It's quite high at the front there, but as you can see when we walk around, there's plenty of coverage everywhere. You're not going to get wet at all. You can also take this pole out, and have the depth flat front down, in case you've got any wind coming in really hard. But yeah, very straightforward, quick and easy. Looks cool. Right, this time I'm going to take the, I'm going to put a ridge line across, take the tarp off, put a ridge line across from that tree, the tree behind me there fix it where it needs to be and then take that pole out and see how much more space that gives inside. I'm going to try and create like an A-frame, an A-frame for the, to go straight over the pyramid. OK, 
Okay, I'll take you in here. Didn't quite have the desired plan I was hoping for, but you can see it's poleless. It's a little bit saggier. I mean, I could probably do a bit more work in tightening the ridge line or hiding it up, but you can see the angle of the ropes going off, the guy line going off there and there to, to get it even taut enough. It's not really gonna gonna work. I might just, I haven't got enough rope on me to do a trucker's hitch, that's the only problem. Uh, so the A-frame is out the window with that. Okay, so that works pretty well. Just a simple A-frame, straight over the top. And there it is, under there. Obviously I'm not, I'd probably put that A-frame up first. So you can see the top of the tent isn't quite central. And also the door should be on this side rather than around the front there. But that gives plenty of coverage. And uh, nice and low profile too. I'm quite pleased with that one. And also you get loads more space this way. Right. I don't know, if you can't really work it out here. I've got plenty of room to sit here and have a fire. Maybe the bush box just outside there, so I don't get the ridge line. But that, that is cool. I like that one. Right, so here's the last, last variation I was going to go for, which is uh, the plough point, modified kind of. It's a bit, a bit baggy. I need to tighten it up. If I had some more guy lines, I'd be able to lift that over. Lift that over, and also heighten that up a bit. But again, plenty of coverage. Nice and spacious, able to have a fire out there. Uh, obviously, I need to tighten everything up. <laughs> but I'm kind of in a rush to get back now, which isn't good. Good content, I'm getting attacked by the flies here. So yeah, it's a very versatile bit of kit. <laughs> And I love tarp camping anyway, this just keeps the bugs off nicely. Okay, thanks for joining me on the uh, setup of the DD Pyramid Mesh Tent. It's a really good kit, I love it. It's, uh, I always get bitten by the bugs like I am today, so for the summer, summer months, tarp camping that is going to be ideal um, it does come as a two part so this is an inner part for a tent um, this parts 65 pounds I think just for the mesh tent and then you have to buy separately the outer tent from DD which is around 95 pounds 1995 pounds it's in their super light range so this weighs in around 580 grams I want to say I think the other one is around 600 so you're looking at around a kilogram give or take a few grams yeah so highly recommend this uh i'll put a link in the description below to dd's website again not sponsor or affiliate of theirs just like their stuff um hopefully i've got everything i need from dd now but this is a great addition to tarp camping which is what i do most of um you know, i've tried a few different variations i quite like the a-frame version that I tried today so I might give that one a go on the next the next camp but other than that thanks for watching hit the like subscribe and the little bell notification and we'll see you in the next one